Here we have the Boston Whaler 210 Vantage. This is going to run you 148,000, 143 here at the boat show. Looks like we've got a clean 225 on the boat. Nice like bow rider type style. Uh, plenty of rod holders here in the back. We've got a nice bench seat that faces to the rear so you can kind of watch what's going on out in the back. I don't know if um, this comes with a ski pole or what i'm guessing it does but um been coming down in real clean nice boston wheeler dash got some sc 1000 gauges nice simrad lots of room got a nice opening compartment here i'm guessing this is where the head is going to be so yep looks like we got the head in there and then we can come up in here to the bow nice kind of open bow a couple seats Nice lean back, so you can kind of lean back and as you go along, let's see what the console looks like in here. Clean, not a whole lot in here. Everything's nice and hidden. So that is nice. Here we have the 305 Conquest. Try and dim this down a little bit. 305 Conquest got twin 600s on the back of it, looking really, really good. Try and come up here and take a look at some of the specs for it. Call it the 365 Conquest, I guess. And this is going to run you anywhere from 998,000 up to 1.5 million. Um, 36 feet long nice big boat looking at the back of it nice and open got a nice door to get into the back back here looks like it's really for entertaining more you've got um, got more entertaining back here probably a sink got a nice sink right there come back here probably a grill yep got a grill right there got a live well over here in the corner and then Good walk around up towards the front of the boat. Come up in here into the cabin. More seating. Got a table there. Over here we've got a like a grill, but a um, cooktop. And then looks like another sink right there. So we got another sink. And then the dash is looking really really clean. Got these inset. The GPSs are inset down into the dash kind of hard to see because everything's black and but nice got the buttons over here by the joystick next to the captain's seat so that's really nice um and a little nice foot rest right there new controls from mercury on here come down into the cabin and we've got back here we have um a bed back there stay room for guests, basically. Nice seating right here on the side. Windows looking out and table seating up here in the front. Obviously, table's gonna go down, turn into a bed for you. TV, take a look here in the bathroom. Bathroom looks really nice. Nice sink, toilet, head, shower over here to the right. This is the 7, 170 Montauk. Looks like it's gonna run you about 67,000, 6,800 here at the show. Nice open bow up here in the front. Kinda got some little area to kinda sit and lay out. Nice seat right here in the front. It's nice, you got rod holders behind the back cushion. That's real nice. And then we've got the console right there looking nice. Dash is pretty plain. Got a Simran and SC1000. Um, new mercury control box on there simrad bhf we've got a nice cooler seat here with the what appears to be you know you can go back and forth with it not sure how to open that maybe it's like a strap or something but that one's going to open two seats here in the back and it looks like the fuel tank is built into the boat opposed to being an external tank so that's awfully nice and this one's got a 115 with command thrust on it nice color nice blue color 
Got a 325 Conquest here. This is going to run you about 715,000. Vocio price is going to be 607,000. We got twin V10 400s on the back of it, which looks really, really good. Come up in here, and um, first thing you're going to notice is you got lots of shade, sunshade that comes out from the T top. Pretty custom for Boston Whaler. A lot of those have that. Not lots of room here in the back. Got a live well here in the corner. And then, as usual, nice um, bench seat here in the back, which is nice whenever you're coming, going to and fro when you're going to a fishing spot and coming back. Side door, and then you've got the walk around to get up towards the front of the boat. Also, this is this is pretty nice here. It's a very tall seat, so you got kind of like little rails there, so you can climb up to get up on this seat but that faces towards the back, so when you're fishing, you can kind of sit there. Got a little sink right here, it looks like. Yep, a little sink right there. That's nice. Couple cup holders right here next to the captain's seat, normal captain's seat. Um, got a table, looks like it goes up and down. Probably got a cushion that'll go across that, I imagine. And then the dash, all of your Rocker switches, try and get this here so you can see. All of your rocker switches go across the top of the dash here. Got AC in the middle, so keep you cool. The windshields open up right up top, so both of those will open up, let some air in here. Got joystick controls on this one. And then when we come down here into the cabin, got a nice seating area around here in the front the nice table this will fold out to become like a full table tv there got a sink got a cooktop got a microwave right here got more bed back there underneath the cockpit and then in here in the bathroom see what we got so the head nice head right there and i do not see a shower so oh there you go sink so you can pull the, this out for your shower head. Four hundred five conquest. This thing's gonna run you anywhere from one point three to one point seven five million. We've got triple six hundreds on the back. Mercury V twelve is looking really good. Notice that how wide the back of the boat is. Got a live well back here in the back. And then there's lots of walking room in between the engines, which is really nice. So you can kind of be, you know, fishing and whatnot and have lots of room to go in between the engines and the transom. Got a table here. Got your grill back there. It's got a nice lip to catch stuff, even though I'm sure this is really slick, you know, once it gets water on it, but sink there to wash and kind of get bait ready and stuff cup holders along the sides live well in the back corner over here we've got another looks like a seat here that'll flip up so you got a seat that'll look towards the back a little step there to get up there walk around to the front of the boat nice nice and spacious come up in here oh and this seat looks like this will flip forward too so you've got this area here and they've got like a viewing thing to see what's in there. So if you got like your tackle and stuff in there, that's that's pretty slick. I like that. Come up in here. This is laid out into a bed, which is really nice. Got some kind of alarm going here. I want to exit that and get that alarm off. So dash has all got flush mount and we've got our push buttons. So you got push buttons for all of your gauges and stuff. Gauges again are flush mounted in there. Bow thruster controller, got trim tab controller, got the premium um, control box for Mercury joystick. Also more controls over here to the side, which is nice. There is your water fill to fill up the water tanks. And a lot of room up here in this. I like how you've got a whole nother screen. I mean, this thing's a massive, I don't know if that's like a 24 Garmin and more joystick control over here. That is interesting. So you can pretty much um, 
park the boat or dock it from either side of the boat, which is very nice. Come down here into the cabin. Really, really spacious. So when we get down here, it goes straight into the main stateroom. Nice bed, windows, TV, closet area. I'm guessing this is a head. We come in here. Here is the head and shower area. Oh, there's two doors. So you can get into this area from there or from out here. So that is pretty nice. I do like that, having two doors to get into the head area. Sink, shower's got a glass door to close it off. Another kitchenette area over here. Got a microwave. All of your control panel up there for breakers and stuff like that. Another bed back here for guests. It's very spacious, very spacious for 40. Kitchen area again. And then we've got a lot of seating area here with a table and a TV up there on the wall. This is the 350 Realm. It's going to come in right around 744,000 to 1.05 million. We've got triple 400s on the back of this one, similar to the 40, but a lot less space here in the back of the boat between the engines. Live well in the corner like the other ones. Now, this seating area has got like a whole different bench. So like the 40, you didn't have this whole bench seat in the back because it had that like tackle station and sink and grill and stuff back there. But back in the back, we got a door to get to the transom. And then this is nice. Look at this, this thing like, will slide over so you got like a table that spins over and gets down onto the grill three cup holders there and a sink i do like that um, another viewing thing so you can see down in there i don't know if that is a chilled or cooled area or what exactly is going on there but i do like that you can see in there seat flips forward so you can sit facing back or sit facing forward i like the wood on the back of this seat that looks really really clean oh you got ac that blasts up towards the front so that's really nice jl speakers and sub right here on the side that looks really really good and some controls there we got a refrigerator down here on the bottom close to where the captain sits another little table with some cup holders and more ac ducts got joystick on the boat dash again with the simrads flush mounted looks really clean all of our push buttons up here on the top of the console. Oh, I like this area right here, a catch-all with um, power. So you can charge your phone and all that kind of stuff. That's really nice. Come up here into the bow. So bow right here opens up. Got two like or three different seats that are separated with cup holders and armrests. So that's really nice. You got radio controls up here in the front so you can control your radio cup holders right there um really nice another bench seat for sitting and you know facing the forward so you can kind of socialize catch all down here on the side really really nice massive windshield up here in the front um keep you dry and let you see so coming in back into here and look down into the cabin the cabin is spacious comes straight down in here Got a bed right here, not a table in here or anything like that, but um, you put the middle piece here and this is gonna be a very large bed that you can probably sleep three people on it. Control panel right here. My guess is, yep, breakers and all that kind of stuff. So that's nice. And then in here is our head where we've got toilet, shower, sink, and all of the other good stuff in there. Looking at a 280 Outrage, this thing's gonna run you 396,000 or 345,000 here at the show. Um, looking really good for 28 footer. Looks like we got twin 300s on the back. Live well here in the back corner. Real similar to the 30, but um, just a little bit smaller, more compact. We got battery switches back here in the back corner. A seat right there. Turn around here and look at the leaning post. We've got live well down here in the leaning post so you got two live wells on the boat next to a sink and then the dash looking really clean 
We've got rocker switches going across the top. So all of everything is controlled by the rocker switches here. And then the rest of the dash has got this acrylic flush mount, which is really, really clean when it comes to the gauges. Nice looking steering wheel. We've got joystick on the boat. Come over here and take a look in the console. We got a head down there, really spacious. All the breakers and everything, very accessible right here in the console. And then looking at the front in the bow here, got a nice bench seat going across the front of the bow. So you can sit and face towards the back where you got this little like lounger thing in front of the console. So you can kind of socialize right there, which is really, really nice. And then anchor locker right here up in the front. Got the 280 Vantage. It is gonna be $410,000. Here at the show, you're looking at $357,000. We've got twin 300 V8s from Mercury, all white, looking really clean. Um, just like the other one, we've got a live well here in the back, and then a bench seat that goes across the back of it, of the boat. You got a lot of room back here on the sides of the engines. So if you're fishing, there is a lot of room to kind of walk around back here. And I like how you got non-skid, so you got like a step right here to go across the back. So that makes it real safe. We've got a door getting into the um, cockpit area back here. Then we've got a side door for pulling in fish, getting in at the sandbar and getting in and out of the boat. Smaller bench seat going across the back. There is a nice little seat right here that faces towards the back as well over on the starboard side of the boat. And then like a twin person seat with a backrest that looks like it goes forward or back. I'm not really sure. Yeah, it does lean back, so it would turn into like a lounger facing aft of the boat, which is really nice if you're out on the sandbar or something like that. You can kind of lay out. Captain's seat looking nice. We've got joystick on the boat. A smaller centered Simrad here on the dash. Again, flush mounted into the acrylic rocker switches going across the bottom here in front of your controls. So that makes it Pretty nice whenever you're driving, your key switches are there. VHF, got a down in here. I'm gonna assume this is where the head's gonna be. Got this very heavy handle. I mean, like, look at that, look at that handle. That thing's like commercial use, it's massive. The head, nice and spacious, not gonna have a problem, got a sink in there. So that's really, really good. And then coming up into the bow area here, it's more like a bow rider. So you kind of got like a circle area where you got like a lounger, and then you can sit in a circle. Cup holders, you've got the stereo control up here in the front, so you can control the stereo from hanging out up here in the bow, and then anchor locker up there in the front. This is the 320 Vantage, it's gonna run you 566,494 here at the show. A um, Little bit more room back here in the back, same thing as the other one that you've got this nice area and a ladder here in the back, but you can get back and forth between the engines with a lot of space. No live well on the side of the back corner here of the aft, but a much larger bench seat going across the back. It's got a side door to get in and out of the boat over here. So you kind of got a ladder right here and in the back corner. This is where the live well is on this side of the boat. And then got, I'm assuming a grill right here. Yep, you got your grill right there. Got a sink area and then a nice little plant. I'm not sure what's in this compartment. It is another water holder area, so you can kind of like almost like a sink. Two of the bench seats, they both slide back and forth, so you can lay them whichever way you want to turn this into a lounger. And then this nice like double bench seat type thing here on the side. Tons of cup holders, got phone charger and power ports here over onto the port side. Nice captain seat, lots of blue. One thing that's nice about this boat is look at all the shade that you've got. I mean, look at this T-top. You've also got the power shade so you can run that um, canopy out the back. It's gonna shade this whole aft area of the cockpit, but that is a massive T-top. So you're looking at all day shade. We've got handles up here on the top, which is really nice. So when you're going, you can kind of hold that if someone's standing there or the boat's rocking, you're getting some waves, something like that. Nice windows up at the top. And then down over here to the right where the captain sit, we got joystick, another next gen DTS Mercury control box. This one we've got toggle switches. So no rockers, no push buttons. You've actually got toggle switches going across the top of the dash here to control everything. Flush mounted Simrads 
really, really nice. Look at this JL Audio Pup to control the stereo. That's a little bit different. I like that. Um, in here, going to have a head and probably a, an area to lay down. So no head in here, just a bedroom type area. So you can sleep in there. So that means that the head is going to be over here on the starboard side of the boat. So there we go. And that looks like that sits down as well. So you can kind of make that little seating area or something like that. It makes it versatile. Got a sink over here to the right. And then all of the breakers for all the electronics is also in here. And then as we come forward into the bow of the boat, just a circular bow seating area, cup holders to the side, got charge ports. Um, no radio control up here on this one though. That's interesting. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's like a jail audio. So there must be some kind of a pup controller that fits there to control the radio. Then we've got just, you know, circular bow seating area with two loungers. This one kind of, you probably fit two people, armrests that go down, so very nice. Looking at a 240 Vantage here. This one is gonna run you 237,000 or 207,000 here at the show. Coming with a single Mercury 300 Verado. Um, lots of area here in the back, just a lot narrower than the rest of the Vantages. This one actually you got a live hole back in the back corner and then also your normal bench seat here in the back of the boat. Looks like um, cleat right there. So there's no side doors on the side here. This got a tabletop here. I don't know if this flips up or it doesn't. So that's just a tabletop, two cup holders, and then a seating area with, again, the backrest will go forward or back. So you can make it a lounger if you want to. Then up here in the front, we have just normal side control box. We got rocker switches on the dash over here, a couple cup holders, a nice little area that's like a catch-all right here. So you can throw your cell phone or different stuff right there with charge ports and also um, some USB ports. Radio controller there, flush mounted SIMRAD in here. I'm looking probably going to be the head. Again, this big commercial style handle on it. Very nice, very sound. Big toilet in there. And then the bow is just circular. Nice seating all the way around the boat. And a couple speakers, cup holders, that kind of stuff. I don't see radio controls up here, so you can't really control a stereo from up here, but. Um, smaller boat, so you really don't need that. Looking at the 130 Super Sport, this thing's gonna run you $27,000 or 25, almost 26,000 here at the show. It's a 13 footer, got a nice storage compartment up there in the front, console, sport style, little windshield. We've got one analog gauge there, like a little pocket area to kind of catch stuff, but it's also got a little latch there, so you can open that thing up as like a compartment to store stuff side control box right there bench seat across the back here fuel tank and battery underneath that two cup holders in the middle and then nice little ladder out here in the back it's got a four rung ladder so that's nice so you can be you know that fourth rung at the bottom makes it easy to get in and out of the boat depending on how deep it is especially if you are you know where you can't stand up that makes it nice to get in and out of the boat we got a 40 horse and that is going to be the 130 sport Got the 360 Outrage here. This thing is going to run you anywhere from 678,000 all the way up to just over a million dollars. This one we've got twin 600 Verados with a ton of space on the back. I do like this back here because you've got non-skid on this and it's like flat. So that makes, actually no, this is not non-skidded. So never mind. I take that back. I wish this was non-skidded because that makes it really nice. Like obviously I'm standing back here now. so. If you're like dealing with a fish or you're getting in and out of the boat, you got tanks and stuff like that. When you get in and out of the boat, it's a nice having somewhere to stand here, but no non-skid, so I take that back. Got the door here to get in and out of the boat. And then once we come in to the cockpit area, we've got two separate like captain type bucket seats almost. Um, nice radio controls here. I like that, that's awful nice. And then you got two cup holders with the wood. I wonder if this opens up. Nope, that does not. What about this right here? Nope. So those are, oh, those are steps. So those steps are going to go up here to the middle, which is going to go up to the top. I do not see a second station on this boat. Looks like we've got a camera right here to look towards the back. And then also the 
shades so you can shade the hole after the boat by running that shade out. Nice bench seat here across the back and then also the live well is built into the transom right there. Wash down ports right there. So got your wash downs, side door to get in and out of the boat here from the side of the boat. Got three captain's seats, but they're, you know, all together like a bench seat almost if you want to treat them like that. So that is nice. And then this right here comes up and down. So, you know, it makes it nice when you come over here and stand up into this to look out over the bow, give you a nice viewing area. Just gives you that little bit of elevation. JL audio knob here for tuning the radio. And then we've got push button controls all the way across the top of the dash, which is nice. I like how you've got two pockets up here to store stuff, throw your cell phone, wallet, that kind of stuff. Window that opens up right there in the front. Flush mounted SIM rads, which is nice. Two cup holders. Got our spotlight controller, next gen premier DTS control box with joystick. Got AC right there, so air conditioning to come out. And then we come over here to the side. Got this nice door. I like how the door to the console opens up because it slides forward, which still gives you walking room. Whereas, you know, the ones that are on hinges that open up like this, it blocks the pathway to get towards the bow. So that is really, really nice. I like that. Come down here into the console. We got a bed down there. Um, probably sleep three or four people on that bed, lots of space. And then we've got our sink shower area over there in the corner of the boat. Um, and then nice wood accents on the floor. So looking really clean. Come up in here to the bow. It is a 36 footer. So you do have a massive lounger up here. And then you've also got lots of seating that goes around the bow. So you can really socialize out here. They've got that same JL audio controller thing that holds the controller so you can bring the radio controls up here with you. And then you've got the windshield wiper on the front, which is, you know, actually really nice. It may, some people may think that it is, you know, more comical, but whenever you get into some snotty weather, that actually does make a difference. And it looks like there's some vents here. I don't know if AC pushes out there or not, but some sort of vents there in the front of the console. We got the 250 Dauntless here. This thing's gonna run you 206,000, 179,000 here at the show, powered by a single 300 Mercury Verado V8 with a power pole on the back. This is really nice. Look at this back, how much area you have here. I mean, it's almost like laid out like a bay boat, but it's more like a deep V, so not gonna get as skinny in the water. I don't know what this thing drafts. Let me look at that real quick. It was something that I did not notice. So it looks like our draft is 15 inches so you got 15 inch draft there and um the seats right here so you got two little pockets that pop up into seats that is really nice i'm guessing that we've got our live well in here so yep nice live wall down in there and then these seats that kind of pop up that's nice for seating in the back got a tackle storage center here on the back of the leaning post with a nice bucket seat with um, the bolsters that flip up so you can you know, use it as a leaning post or you can sit on there. Uh, sim rads here, got a nice little glove box compartment, catch all in there, so that's nice. Ooh, you got yourself a wireless phone charger up there with C deck going across the top of the console and then just some regular rocker switches for all the controls of the boat. Come up here to the bow, you've got these, look at those flip ups, those are nice. So you got flip up shocks that have that like locking mechanism. So like this thing, like, you know, you can push this out, I guess it is, to lower it and then it locks in. So that way it locks it up. So that'll kind of flips up, give you nice backrest. So you can kind of lounge up here in the bow and look forward as you're going through the water or as you're hanging out at the sandbar, another large lounger right here in the front of the console for, you know, four people up here, it looks like. Cup holders on both sides of both of these, you got four cup holders up here in the bow, so that's also really, really nice. Looking at the 280 Dauntless, so this one coming in here at 353,000, 307,000 here at the show. Looks like it starts out at $234,000. This thing is going to draft 18 inches. We got twin 250 Mercury V8 Verados on the back of it. Lots of space here in the back. Um, look at this. So you got a massive bench seat with a table that flips up and then that thing flips down so you can kind of walk across it. You can see it's all 
non-skidded so like a platform for fishing out the back here and it looks like you've got the ac charger for your battery charger and a water washdown. so i do like that the bench seat gives you lots of seating back here but you can collapse it and then have a platform for fishing and stuff like that and then also look you got shade that is going to come up out of here so you can run that back right there and shade the whole after the boat which is nice tackle center down here below the leaning post bolsters that flip up so you can either stand or sit treat them like a seat if you'd like dash you've got the simrad is flush mounted looking really clean it's not as flush mounted as most of them this acrylic must be a smaller piece of acrylic but the just like the other one we've got a wireless phone charger up here with the c-deck around it and kind of the catch-all on top of the console windshield that opens up so that's really nice we've got regular rocker switches all built into one solid piece of acrylic going across the whole dash so that looks really clean i do like that um, nice steering wheel tilt and cup holders with look at this ridge that goes all the way around here i do like that too so that way when you throw stuff in here you know it's kind of catches it which is always really nice the bow is very similar to the other one where we've got these seats they're going to flip up as backrests so you can have yourself like a um, lounging area up there in the front two cup holders on both sides so same thing with the big lounger here in the front flip it up and you can have four or five people hanging out up here really comfortably looking at a 420 outrage this thing is going to run you 1.5 million all the way up to 1.9 million super super clean looking boat you can see the windshield that looks all the way down not a windshield but a window that looks all the way down into the boat then coming back in here to the aft we've got a door goes into the back cockpit area looks like we got triple 600 mercury verados i do like how open this is in between the engines and the transom on this like euro transom type style so you got lots of room to go back and forth so if you're getting out of the water you got dive tank stuff like that if you have more people that do not want to come in to the side door over there we've got a massive bench seat that goes all the way across the back of the transom so tons of seating back there you can put four people there if you wanted to we've got a live well here in the back corner looking like charge port for the battery charger over here on the side and then this massive tackle center so you've got your sink right here you've got controls for all kinds of stuff from your live wells your fish boxes and all that um, catches for cell phones and other tackle you got a holder here for knives and stuff like that hooks to hang baits that you've rigged all that kind of stuff a towel rack so that's really nice i'm guessing you got probably a grill here so we got a grill right there to grill stuff up we got looks like two refrigerators on both sides of this secondary leaning post with tackle center in the middle so that's really nice look at this this whole thing's going to open up or it's something i don't know i don't know what that is that is it's a latch there for something but got a camera back here to see everything and then also this massive shade that comes out and covers the entire aft of the boat which makes it really nice this thing is massive look at how all the rod holders right here i do like the black powder coating on here and then just these nice clean shiny black going across look at all the air conditioning you got three air conditioning vents going across this secondary leaning post like it's a big massive bench seat oh look this thing flips down so that's what that is so this thing whole this whole thing flips down here and that latch is what hooks it so that's what that's for coming up in here to the um, cockpit or the captain's area you got three huge bucket seats but look at that they turn around so you can spin that seat and look towards the back or your two you know passengers can that is really cool i like that you got three simrads here all flush mounted into acrylic well you got acrylic on the top and the bottom of it so it's not in the acrylic but it looks really nice we've got more ac vents up here in the middle so keep you cool as you're driving and then two really deep catch-all pockets up here in the top so you can throw all your sunscreen your cell phones wallet keys all that stuff power for them we've got push buttons all the way across for all the controls two cup holders premium premier mercury next gen dts and then when we come down in here to the console look at the steps that is really nice i like that that it's going like all the way around it's kind of like rounded over covers up so it's like a really big step so makes it very stable for coming down in here 
And then this is really open down here. You got a lot of space. Look at that. So you got your rod storage here that will go um, across there for storing rods and stuff. We've got massive bench seat going all the way across up to the front and then table there that'll obviously drop down, turn into a bed. Got a whole kitchenette area here, little microwave TV up at the top, um, sink. This is probably a cooktop under here maybe. Yep, so probably a cooktop under there. Refrigerator and then the head area. We've got our shower, sink, head, um, all that stuff in there. Now when we come back up out here and go towards the front and look at the front of the boat, we've got all kinds of seating area up here. Look at this massive, look at that, that thing flips up so you can have like a normal seat for like three people to sit here, or you can lay it back and have loungers with four uh, armrests all the way through there. So you got three individual seats with cup holders. That makes that really nice. This really clean wood table here looks like that goes down you probably put another cushion there to lay out and then seating all the way around it you can put a ton of people up here radio controllers up there and then also you got your anchor locker up there very nice and then also look at this so this is another one of those puck things so you can take your stereo controllers up to the front even though you already have a secondary set of radio controls up there one thing that I did not do when I was down here in the console is take a look outside. So let's go down here again and see out the windows. So there's a window right there. That's really nice. And then also a window here. Oh, it's because the shades are down. So that's why I didn't notice it before. But really nice to be able to look out on the water as you're down in here hanging out in the cabin. Got the 330 Outrage here starting at 409000 this thing's gonna run you 567,000. Boat show, just under 500,000 at 494. We've got twin Mercury Verado 400 V10s with the blue accents already put on there. That looks really clean, I like that. You got lots of area back here in between the engines to walk back and forth. Got a ladder to get in and out of the boat over there on the side and a side door to get into the cockpit area. Got a bench seat here in the back. No live wheel in the back of the transom of the this boat, but then as you walk around here, got a bench seat there. Um, live wheel is actually here in the middle of the transom, so no viewing like most of the other ones where you've got you know a um, aquarium style clear acrylic to see down in there. Nice bench seat in the back here. Not much for tackle storage though is one thing I'm noticing. So. That is one thing that's kind of interesting. Up here on the dash, this thing is a, looks like a very, very big dash. You got rocker switches all the way across the top of it, windshield that's opened up, um, VHFs up there on the top, two Simrads flush mounted into a solid piece of acrylic, so that's what makes it look a lot bigger. The little catch-all in here with phone charger and stuff, joystick, couple cup holders, and bench seat going across the side also this thing will fold down so you can stand on it to get you a little bit more elevation to see up over the bow of the boat down here in the center console looks like we got just a normal head uh, for a 33 foot boat not, not not as much space got a um, sink there so pretty normal stuff up here in the bow of the boat we got a bench seat going across the bow a couple people sit up there a couple cup holders and then a big old lounger so you can lounge in the front of the boat hang out socialize windshield wiper pulled out so that's pretty sweet looking they were just cleaning the boat radio controls up here in the front so you can control the radio up here in the front of the boat